A blessed Wednesday, gagayem ken kakamsat. Welcome to our journey with Jesus today. Gagayem, mahilig ka bang tumakbo? Sapagkat ngayon, ang pag-usapan natin ay ang pagtakbo. Pero ang pagtakbo na ito ay karamihan, ang alam natin, ay ang pagtakbo patungo sa gusto nating puntahan. Pero ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang pagtakbo sa naiwasan o palayo dun sa makakasira sa atin. And that is running from sin. A run from sin. In 2 uh, chapter 2, uh, verse 22, 2 Timothy 2.22, sinasabi, kaya nga iwasan mo ang masasamang hilig ng kabataan sa halip ay pagsikapan mong maging matuwid, tapat, mapagmahal, at mapayapa kasama ng mga taong may pusong malinis na tumatawag sa Panginoon. Naalala natin ang Quentin uh, very familiar story ni Joseph sa Old Testament kung saan ipinakita niya ang modelo ng Uh, principle of uh, running from sin or temptation. Okay. So, alam natin na siya ay nakatira sa tahanan ni Potiphar. Okay. At doon, uh, sa araw na yon ay yung asawa ni Potiphar or Potiphar's wife uh, wanted to seduce him but uh, we know Joseph did not Uh, try to get close kundi siya ay umiwas at tumakbo. Narinig natin yung uh, yung sinasabi na uh, yung kantang ano na yung kanta? Uh, tukso, layuan mo ako. Okay. Pero hindi yung tukso ang lalayo sa atin hindi tayo mismo ang lalayo sa tukso. Okay? So, so alam natin nangyari kay Joseph. Siya ay kinakulong, pero Joseph uh, remained pure throughout the episode. And as we see in Genesis uh, 39 verse 21, sabi doon, But the Lord was with Joseph and showed him mercy and gave him favor in the sight of the keeper of the prison. So, uh, brothers and sisters, God can uh, help us flee activities and situations that could lead, lead us from, uh, from Him, guiding us to run the other way when sin is nearby. Okay? So, kaya sinabi ni Paul ay Timothy, flee also youthful lusts. Okay. As sinabi din ni Paul in Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians 6.18, flee from sexual immorality. So, running from sexual temptation by the enabling of the Spirit isn't the act of a coward. Hindi ibig sabihin na ikaw ay lumayot sa tukso, ay ikaw ay coward. That, actually, that is an act of courage. Okay? It's the strength of a person committed to follow Jesus. So, this is yung ating uh, devotion ngayon, that in God's strength, may we choose to run from those things that could uh, hurt us or harm us and hinder our sweet and warm fellowship with God. So, ang panalangin natin, yo, Lord, Lord God, give me the courage and wisdom to not let anything get between you and me. So, wala sanang makakahad ng yung magandang fellowship natin sa Panginoon. So, run. Not towards sin, but run from sin. 
Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for your grace that we are able to overcome temptations and flee from these evil desires and follow righteousness and by the, the Holy Spirit's power, Lord. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.